Ba-da-da. Bunz, bunz, bunz. Ah. Hi, my name's uh, Dave. I just thought that I'd do a quick video to show you how to do uh, two things. First, how to do pitch correction on your vocal uh, using Logic Pro X, as well as uh, doing what I'm going to call reverb hits. Now, I'm not 100% sure if that's uh, what they're called. I'm not a professional. I'm just a hobbyist um, and just love music. So I'm going to show you a couple of the effects that I use. Uh, so what I'll do is I'm going to do it live, I'm going to record, um, just pop song, I thought I'd do Ed Sheeran's photograph, so I'll record the, the, uh, the chorus of that, uh, just using uh, this bad condenser microphone that I own, and the Steinway piano in Logic, so I'm going to arm both those tracks, making sure they're both uh, recording, um, get my key, D, which is good, just make sure that's not too loud, and let, let me record these uh, bars here. Go back to the start of the track. Here we go. So let's record them and we'll see what happens. Yay. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your ripped jeans holding me closer till our eyes meet We won't ever be alone Just away from Seven CDs, which I never do because I'm not good enough. You know, maybe I'd run that again. Um, but uh, let's get to uh, this pitch correction. Just a second, and I'll fling my microphone around here. Okay. Uh, what you want to do uh, to be able to uh, do this pitch correction um, is you want to uh, double click on your vocal track, uh, or you can just uh, hit the editor window there. Um, so it's going to double click on the vocal track. I'll close down the information and the instrument selection page. Uh, so there's there's my vocal. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit so it takes up the whole page. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah. So you can keep me. Righto. So uh, what you can what you want to do if you want to uh, enable pitch correction is you need to turn. It's called flex. Uh, it says this this button here, this show hide flex. So uh, you need to turn that on. It says turn on flex. You want to click? Yeah, I do. Uh, and then uh, basically the top one is pitch. <clears throat> uh, this can be used for a variety of things, but it's particularly helpful uh, just to go through and fix any um, pitch mistakes that you've made in your recording. Uh, so I'll turn that on. And basically here, and it shows all your scobbly goop. Um, but uh, what, in essence, what it is is say if you've got this piano down the side. Uh, all the notes that you sing are connected to uh, a, a key. Or, um, basically, this is telling me here, so you can when I sing key, uh, it's telling me that I am playing a F, or singing an F. Now, there's a couple of options here. Uh, one of the things that we can do uh, is we can turn the vibrato down. Uh, that basically uh, removes any of the wobble, if you want to use layman's terms. Uh, so if I just drag that down, see it makes it a nice smooth straight line. Uh, also, if you can tr command A, you can select all of it and then, you know, turn it, uh, turn the vibrato down to zero so it's nice and um, uh, straight. Uh, and then you could go right click on it and say set to perfect pitch. Uh, and you know, the pitch in the song will be perfect uh, based on the key that you're singing it in. I don't want to set to perfect pitch because I didn't actually play it in the key of C. Um, so I'm just going to turn that back actually. Control Z back a couple of them. Um, so if I need to change the pitch, what I can do is I can um, change this fine pitch. And this, uh, this fine pitch option um, it does it in cents, so in one one hundredths of a note. Um, so basically it'll go up to a 50, it'll go up to 50 and then it'll change to the negative note. Uh, so that's F sharp now and I can drag it up. Um, so I don't want to do that either. Um, but if the basic point is you just listen through. So you can keep me inside the pocket of your wrist. So that was a bit pitchy there, that ripped. And it says that it's um, under eight cents on the F sharp there, so I can drag it up uh, if I want your to. Wrist. Uh, I can actually turn down the pitch drift, turn down the vibrato a little bit. Off your 
right? So basically, you could go through all this, all the notes, and like you know, if you wanted to, like you can completely change them. Um, if you're really off, no, that didn't sound good. There you go, turn it up to the show. Yeah, great, sounds awesome. Uh, but anyway, you can do that, uh, and that's how you that's how you correct the pitch. I'm not going to go through and correct all of it, uh, but you can see there that um, if you actually have a look. Each of the keys, it gives you this visual representation too of how far off you are. So if you're pretty close, um, it's right inside the key, but as soon as you start moving away from the pitch, it's got, uh, it gives you these little hollow parts here. So see this one, I can, it says it's fine pitched out by 29, So and that's positive. So I need to drag that down uh, to get it on key. Now, one of the issues is when you're actually recording in Logic Pro X, it's very important to make sure that your key signature is right. Uh, it helps this process out a fair bit. Uh, anyway. Right, so that's that. That's how you do the pitch correction, and I pitch correct the crap out of my voice because it's pretty pitchy. Um, the second thing that I'm going to do is just quickly show you how to do, and I'm just going to call these uh, reverb hits. Um, again, not sure if that's the correct name for them. So now let's just go back here. Um, turn this down. I think it's a bit loud. So what I want to do is I want to add some reverb, not to the whole track. I just want to add it uh, to uh, a little bit eyes of... Me. I'm going to add it to, actually, that eyes. I just want to punch a reverb. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that. This is the eyes. Uh, uh, I might need a little bit more. Yeah, let's drag a little bit more. Right. Make sure that's at the start. Eyes, eyes. Right, so that's that's what I want to add the punch of reverb to. So I'm going to copy that. I'm going to add a new audio track right, just by hitting that plus button um, and unselect it in here. Make sure that track's selected and paste it. So basically, uh, eyes. so there's no change. I can turn that volume down. There is absolutely eyes, there's no change, but. Um, what I can do is I can bring up this information here and I can add some audio effects and guess which one I'm going to hit? Give us a reverb hit. I'm going to uh, add some reverb. Um, now, uh, basically what for a huge reverb hit, you want to um, make it as long as possible. So I'm going to go to large spaces here. Um, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. You can, look, you play around with the ones that you like. Uh, I'm just going to go outdoor spaces. Oh, okay. Um, there we go, they're huge. Okay, I'm going to go uh, to an amp. No, oh, I don't want to do that one. Rooms. Outdoor. Let's see what this one sounds like. Doesn't sound that good. I need more than that. Large spaces, and halls. Let's go to the stairs. See what that sounds like. There we go. That's more like it. But basically, you just go through all the reverbs, find the one that you like. Obviously, the bigger the reverb, the better. Uh, you could even, you know, customize your own in there. Um, but now, if you listen, I could turn that up a tad. Turn these down. I'll just solo it. Eyes. See, see, I just hits that on that just on eyes. It smashes out the reverb. So when you're actually um, playing it through in the mix, you got right, you just get this pop of reverb. It feels like you know someone grabbed your soul, which is awesome. Now, um, one of the things you can do down here is if I wanted to. Wait for me to come home. To the pitch correction, that's how so bad. Uh, what I could do, I'll do it on uh, the bit before it. Uh, I'll copy that and um, unselect and paste it. So now, once once I've got a reverb, I can just add it, add it on any part of the vocal that I want. So, I just... <laughs> so bad. Okay, uh, yeah, so like, I mean, any, any little uh, segment that you want, uh, you can sort of uh, you could go through and, and add that. Um, just basically into this audio channel and it'll smash out the reverb. Um, look, I'm not going to mix it at all. 
Uh, but that's how you do pitch correction and uh, reverb hits. Now one of the things you can actually do, which is cool, is you don't actually have to do reverb. You could add uh, anything onto there. You could add an echo, right? So it's like... Right? So you could add an echo, you could add another delay. Uh, and it's just, so it's just a means of adding an effect just to some of your voice because you don't want to have that much reverb on the whole track. It would sound stupid. Uh, but just on uh, vowels or um, a little parts of it. And believe it or not, you can really make these smaller. Right, you can really cut these down and it still has um, a pretty dramatic effect even if it's only like on a vowel of what you're singing. Right, so uh, anyway, hopefully you can use that. Hopefully there's a benefit to you, but uh, that's me out. So if, please like, comment if you want, uh, subscribe. It helps me know that I'm not talking to the ether of nobodies. Uh, peace out, people. Loving you.